Welcome to GP Sports. Today's video, we're going to show you how to group rename your sessions. As you can see here, I'm in the Downloads tab under the Finder menu. And you can see that the three sessions that I've downloaded today appear in this screen. To rename these sessions, I simply select on one session, right click on that, and choose Group Rename Items with Similar Session Dates. Then this screen appears. The first thing I wish to do is to rename this session. And to rename the session, it's important that you use reverse date order and then give it a training name or session name. In this case, I call it training. The reason why we use reverse date order is that it's a good way to filter your sessions. You then go across to activity and you can include a name for this activity. In this case, we're going to call it training. And then importantly, you want to give this session a day code. Now, day code allows us to sort our sessions based on the day of the week relative to the game as opposed to a straight set of Monday to Sunday of the week. So in this case, I may call, I'm may i going to call this game minus three, which is basically the training session three days before my game. You can then see the information that is given here on this screen. It shows the three different players who participate in this session. And if this has automatically applied these sessions to the players because the preferred name of the in the player profile matches the unit name. So it's automatically been assigned to a player. The participation code is also important. So for those athletes that don't complete the full session or the full game, you should mark their participation as modified. This will exclude their values and data from the group average. You'll still get to see all their reports and, info and data for that session, but it excludes them from the group average. You can also add in a session RPE if you wish, as well as a heart rate training effect, which reflects the first beat heart rate training effect information. Another new option that's now available to you in this group rename page is the set subgroups for splitting. This is a very efficient way to simplify your splitting process. What you can do is you can create groups based on selected players or player positions. So for example, if you have a team of let's say 10 athletes or 15 athletes, you can put those athletes in certain groups and split by that group. So an example here, I am gonna put Maris and Rod in a group because these guys may be props and they are always in training as a group together. So I can create a group on these two athletes by selecting the, ticking their names and then selecting selecting selected players and then a group is created for those players and you'll understand the simplicity and the value of this when we get that move on to split up our sessions once you've done this you simply select OK and if you're happy with the group renaming process you select OK and you can see that your group rename has been completed successfully